Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really do appreciate your time. So today I wanted to very briefly jump on here and talk about this situation with Ari going on the pod on this podcast and basically talking about how she has never experienced healthy relationships where they weren't going back and forth, where she wasn't constantly thinking about leaving and threatening to leave and how basically what she interprets as real love is a guy trying to stop you at all means so whether that's pulling out a firearm uh, probably physically restraining you that's what she finds to be attractive because i used to pack my shit up like bitch i'm leaving fuck you da -da. that's Fake me booking a flight. really never booked the flight Fake booking the flight like calling my manager like yeah, bitch book me a flight home fuck this nigga da -da. you know calling my mama throwing shit breaking shit fighting and then like now you gotta stop me from leaving but I was never going nowhere. Oh, yep. You talk to me. Like, pull your gun out and show me, like, bitch, leave. I wish you would walk out the door. Right. Like, uh, I'm not she from the shine. She from the shine. She's from Chicago, You folks. already pull your gun out. <laughs> I'm finna just sit down because I got a son. I'm not trying to die. I got a son. So I'm only staying because I got a mm -hmm. son. I don't want you to shoot me. And I think overall that this comes from the fact that she says she's never really been in a non-toxic relationship. She says in a podcast that she sees herself as toxic and listen i am very aware of the fact that a lot of times in relationships there may be aspects of the relationship that is not ideal and while we have a lot of times people trying to act like oh my relationship is so perfect we never have arguments we never have fights oh it's always positivity we know that's not the case we know that's not the reality even in marriages i have had my own very very heated arguments with my husband where i have packed my shit and threatened to leave and you know he sometimes he stopped me sometimes he didn't so that's that's real that i understand why she spoke on that and probably the reason why she felt it was necessary to even bring up this aspect of her relationships is because she wanted to seem relatable you know ari has become a very successful influencer. She has made a lot of money for herself. And so therefore, I'm pretty sure she's trying to uh, show that she's still, you know, a down the way girl. She's still like a regular hood chick. She's not any different. And I think she was meant, that story was meant to be relatable. However, it came off as if she was excusing domestic violence, um, or should I say not even categorizing that type of interaction as domestic violence and then she did this live you know after she was dragged on the internet and people were basically trying to tell her like hey what you're saying is problematic it does absolutely come off as if you are promoting domestic violence as sexy or okay what i think is very dangerous and why i oftentimes you know recommend that women don't really get into these influencers is a lot of times they don't care about you much outside of the fact that you represent followers you represent money you represent monetization they don't care about their actual followers or the people who support them and therefore create the life they are used to living they don't genuinely care about you they don't care about how their influences can be used to be harmful to the same women that look up to them they don't care and i think she made that very clear in this live and this is why we have to be very selective about who we give our viewership to give our monetization to because a lot of these influencers don't really care so while people were you know basically trying to tell her like hey this is not okay like don't speak this way she actually doubles down and begins to tell women on her live oh you're ugly that's why no man will ever even try to make you say no man will ever pull out a gun to keep you here because you're not cute you probably don't even have a man like she basically makes herself look like a massive asshole one you're ugly. You don't even have a man, first of all, who wants to pull out a gun on you, especially to not leave. Nobody wants to do that, okay? Not to you. Nobody even cares about you that much to do that. Two, y'all are in the comments like, oh, when I was um in a relationship, this boy pulled out. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody cares. And I think the issue here is two things. She is not, she's not willing to be held accountable for the influence that she has. And what I think is very strange about a lot of these influencers is they enjoy being able to post one or two pictures and make 
all this money off of their literal imagery but when it comes to them being held accountable for that same amount of influence they don't even want to even act like they should be held accountable which is very strange now speaking as a married woman who does have some sexual proclivities to the bdsm sort of kink area and i understand how violence can be used as sort of a sexual component or a way to kind of make sex a bit more spicy however there are still things i would never say out loud especially if i am an influencer and i know thousands of people are going to listen to me and can absolutely misconstrue whatever i'm saying or not understand where i'm at least coming from from me not expressing myself the best i would never say these things and i'm just gonna say this have your kinks enjoy what you enjoy but if someone is physically emotionally verbally abusing you and it is taking away from you and causing your self-esteem to be damaged physically harming your body that's not sexy and that's not cute you should leave what's very important to note here is that you have to realize when an influencer is ultimately toxic and you should no longer follow them and support them a lot of influencers are making money off of the fact that this illusion of a parasocial relationship causes people to think that they are investing into a brand or into a person that has a mutual interest or a mutual concern and they don't so that's personally how i feel about this whole topic i don't really have much to say other than that because it's pretty obvious that this whole thing is really embarrassing and she really made herself look crazy and despite her being this businesswoman who has been able to you know make money and do all these things that she's been doing it very much just seems like she has done a lot of that by chance by having the money and finances to invest in businesses that are passive income that don't require a lot of thinking and creativity and that basically set her up to make money based off of her influence based off of her online celebrity persona and she just comes off as very stupid to be quite honest um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about this topic. Thank you so much for listening. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have your notifications bell turned on so you don't miss any of my content. Comment below if you're feeling what I'm saying or if you're not feeling what I'm saying, just keep it respectful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.